He made up his mind ten minutes ago. Do what you're gonna do. I try my best just to be a man. All right, y'all. Now I'm gonna be talking about this show. I'm pretty sure y'all have already seen that title. Y'all probably seen the thumbnail. Um, and this this show been on my mind for like the longest because I seen like so many memes. I seen people um do like you know like little short takes upon it, like videos. And I was like, you know what? I want to put my little take to it and talk about like Breaking Bad, Walter White, and. Just how great the show was. Now, normally when I do shows or how I rate shows, um, every, I know everybody has like their own little scaling where they go, like, oh, it's either from 1 to 10 or 1 to 5 or whatever. My scales are a little bit different. So um, how I would see like, okay, for instance, like power. Let's throw that out there for an example. Power from seasons 1 to 6, everything that I liked was good. But y'all already know, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all agree with me, that it was really the ghost stuff that kind of, like, knocked some of the points off of me. Now, when I would say something that breaks the scale, it breaks the scale from being, like, 1 through 10. It, it just immediately breaks it for me, and I just put it on, like, a, a level that goes beyond the scale. Now, again, not saying it wasn't bad, and what I would basically grade it for... The, you know, like power, it would be like near perfection. That's what I would technically grade it. Like a, something that breaks the scale so much that it's really good, but it would be like near perfection. Like it was close to being like all over the damn place, but not, but not saying bad at all. Completely not saying bad at all. And when you, and oh, 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 oh. And, and lastly, 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 The Wire. I, I did make like a community post on that too. And I was explaining about The Wire, this and that. And then about certain characters. I've watched it. Saw all of it. It didn't break the scale. It was a 10. There was a lot of things that I didn't like. But I probably might go over that in a, in a future video. But for Breaking Bad. My opinion. I think that the show was perfection. I believe it was perfection. I know there's going to be some people that's going to disagree. But I think the show is completely. It was perfection from start to finish. Because you look at a guy named Walter White. Man has cancer. And he has rich friends that would have, you know, paid for his... Well, I think was paying. I think even was paying. I, my memory is a little shot. I think they were paying. And then I think he didn't want them to pay anymore. Something. I, I forgot. It, it was something like that. It was something like that. But then he was just like, nah, I want to, you know, kind of pay for it myself. And then he gets involved with, like, Jesse, his former student. And then they start to, like, like make meth together. And the one thing I love from, like, start to finish, it was basically him getting into the business of it all. Him killing, like, the, the guy in the basement. He didn't want to do it. But the guy was tricking him, saying that if you let me go, everything would work out. Which he was lying because it was like, what was the shit? Um, it was like a cracked, I guess, plate. Like, a, a cracked glass plate. But then he held, like, some of the, like, the pieces because... Walter was counting like the shards and he's like wait something like one piece is missing and he was like oh he didn't want to do it but he had to do it and it messed him up for like a while and given how like Walter White was like this smart intelligent character he was brilliant like he I wouldn't say he was like ghost I can I will never say he was like ghost he was in his own league he was he was in his own league like his paranoia um his his rash thinking it, it was just Oh my god, that character, it was crazy. It was phenomenally good. And then, like, leading up to, like, the, the slow dissension between him and Jesse, where he was lying to him. He was belittling him at times. He didn't save his girlfriend. He he was <laughs> he was messed up for that part, even though she was in the wrong, too, because it was like, oh, once when he had, I think, Jesse had, what, I think, what was it, 400000 300000 dollars they was gonna split, but then they got high one last time. But then she overdosed, and Jesse, well, Walter had the option to save her, but he let her die because he's like, no, I love Jesse. Like, uh, I guess you could say like a son, but he was like a family to him in a sense, even though Walter never admitted it. And to Hank, basically told Jesse at the end, where he was just like, no, he cares about you. Like he sees you as 
family in a sense and jesse was like no he don't he don't care for me like that and it's just crazy how like the characters it it, it, it played up to it and then them actually meeting like uh like gustavo fring and the chicken man the chicken delivery man you know The, the big head honcho, drug dealer, mob boss, whatever you call it, like like working with him because everything kind of like fell apart with they like they business deal and they needed a new connect, a new supplier. Ghost Gustavo Fring saw like Walter as like this this mastermind genius that he wanted to be underneath his thumb because it kind of reminded him of I guess his brother i don't know if they ever cl clarify if that was well it was his friend but we don't know if that was his maybe lover brother i'm not too sure but oh god <laughs> and then my guy my guy walter hartwell white how about you go on home walter walter sometimes it doesn't hurt to have someone watching your back no more half measures walter oh my god Mike, my man, my man, Mike Ermingtrot. How the, f how you do that to my guy, Walter White? How you do that to my guy? Mike was the man. He was like, he was like, I can't say he was like like Batman or anything, but he was something. He was a character because he had trained guys. He, the structure, how he did things. If anybody watched Better Call Saul. You would understand the reason how he got into this whole business is because his son at the time was a cop. And I think what happened. With, oh, my God. I forgot. Damn, I forgot the reason for his son. Oh, shit. Matt wasn't dirty. I was. Everyone was in that precinct. Okay. But you said Matt didn't. No. I told him. Prison. Getting locked up with everybody you put away. My boy was stubborn. My boy was strong. That I was like Hoffman, getting by. And that's what you heard that night. His son was a good cop, but then I think something happened when his son died. And then he was explaining to, I think, his the son's ex-wife. Well, the widow, I should say. He was explaining that. You know, he was a good cop, this and that. He was, he never did anything wrong from, from what I remember. And I think he was explaining the story either to Saul or to somebody that I think back in his day, there was a lot of dirty cops. And then there was an option to kill that one guy, but then he let the guy go. Then the guy went and killed the woman. And then he found where the guy was at. And I think he killed the guy. And then that's when he... Went under the t like I forgot, but it, it was it was something like that. It was something like that, but yo, it was so fucking good, man. It was so good because it had so much character development. It had depth. It had lore. It was like the slow build up to like Walter White becoming Heisenberg. Yes, he became Heisenberg because that's the name he chose. But he truly started to become more and more like Heisenberg as the story went on. Now it was different. From, even though I, I can't say that because that's not fair. Because if we would ever get like a, a ghost prequel or whatever, we need to see more of when ghosts become ghosts. But in this story, we seen how Walter White became Heisenberg. And it was like the slow buildup that made so much sense that we've seen to like develop. And then like the parts where him slipping up and, and Hank you know, find his stuff, I think what he, no, because he was in his bathroom, and he found the book, and then that's when he was like, oh my god, this man is Heisenberg, <laughs> he lost his mind about that, and then the part where him working with Jack, like, towards the end, I know I'm kind of, like, going off the rails here, because I'm taking, like, bits and pieces, I'm not going, like, through order from, like, start to finish, I'm just taking, be like, bits and pieces, but later on, <laughs> when he was working with Jack, and then he said, Jack, I need you to kill, um, because it was all of Mike's guys in jail. After when he killed Mike, he was like, okay, because there was no more money for them. So 
he had to figure a way. It was like, all right, I pay you this to get rid of all his guys. He 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 did. That was like, oh my god, that was some shit. He had all his guys die in prison, all of them, all of them. And then it was like, yo, like he he became the man at the part. Then the last part was when him and Jesse, because Jesse was he was getting so sick and tired of his lies. He was like. Man, you lied to me about Brock, about him. You know, you didn't poison him, but you did. You manipulated me. So you wanted me to stay. You didn't want me to leave. Then you wanted to me. You wanted me to leave. It was just the like the back and forth mental struggles, like the physical anguish, the mental anguish that this man put Jesse through. It was just amazing to the point where he reached his breaking point. Told Hank nearly everything about what happened, and then. Then Hank had Walter in the car. It was like, listen, you finally going to jail. I got you. Um, case closed. Everything is over for you. Then Jack guys come along. Didn't know that Hank was DEA. Killed his friend. And then shot him in the head and killed him. Walter gets away. And then he goes with the guy who's able to, like, well, Saul helps him. Saul and him goes to the guy that helps disappear guys like them. You know, Saul gets away. Um, and then Walter gets away, but he had like, you know, some money to himself. He still had money, but then at the end, he still wanted to deliver the money to his family, but he had it go through, he had to go through his former best friends to do it, to set up a trust will for his son, um, Walter Jr. Had that happen. Then he went back to Jack's gang to go save Jesse after everything he put this man through, he wanted Jesse to kill him, but Jesse said, do it yourself. But then the only person that took out Walter was himself. And it's like nobody nobody was able to do it. Now, you could argue because of maybe because of the plot or because maybe he should have died a long time ago. Um, anything. You could have said anything. Jesse should have killed him. Maybe, maybe uh, Mike should have done something or should have known that Walter was unhinged and maybe he could have done something. You could have basically had, like, any scenario that these men could have killed Walter and I think people would have been all right with it. I think they would have been all right with it. But I don't know. For some weird reason, for some weird reason, I love the better outcome that nobody could not touch this man and that he basically... Just went out on his own, by his own design, by the way. By his own design for saving Jesse. And then just him reminiscing and thinking about everything. And going to like the little meth room. And then him just laying down on the ground. Just thinking about his last moments. And then him just dying. And then you see the police coming in. And then you see Jesse making an escape. When I tell you. When I, cause I, I heard stories about Breaking Back and I was so confused and I'm so glad I didn't get no spoilers. I didn't see anything. I didn't see shit. I, I, and, and just seeing this, just seeing how everything played out from start to finish. I said, listen, y'all, people could disagree with me. They can say whatever they like and it's okay. But this, this entire show. Even Jesse's uh, movie, I think El Camino, I think that movie, um, like tying up the loose bits of everything that happened and him making his escape, I thought that was all right. I thought that was cool. But Walter White, nobody touching him, nobody really killing him but himself, I thought it was perfection. I thought it was perfection. I thought everything that happened, only thing you could take away some bits if you didn't like certain things in the story, like meaning um, his wife, you know, cheating on him and going out with Ted. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Because I, I, I didn't, I, I think everybody was with me on this. It was like, why would you do this? Like, you don't understand what he's doing? And the fact that when he thought about everything, like the calculations that there wouldn't be any money left if he dies. Like, there wouldn't have been... Um, there wouldn't have been anything. Sure, he could have done the easy thing. He could have done the easy thing and went to his best friend. They even said, yo, you can come back. He could have made all the money. He could have still done everything the right way. But I guess there was a, I guess there was probably like something that was explained that maybe he didn't want the help. Maybe he, because he has so much pride 
that he wanted to do it himself. And then he even explained, what was, oh my God, I forgot her name. Skylar, there we go. I was also, I was almost forgetting. He explained to her when he came back into the city, I think of Albuquerque. I think that's where it was at. I think, I think he came back and he was explaining that I did it for me. I, I enjoyed it. I liked what I was doing. Even though she was saying that, you know, I don't want to hear you saying it for your family, this and that. Part of it still was true. But at, but at the time, he was enjoying what he was doing. Like, you know, he was the one everybody acknowledged. Everybody was afraid of. Everybody just, they saw him as like a hero, a savior, and then a devil. That's what I, I kind of got the description from. That's what they saw this as. Like, people saw, like, Walter White. Like, that's what they saw him as. And... Again, when he explained, like, yeah, I did this, this, and that, and then him leaving before uh, Walter Jr. could come in, and that's when he had to tie up some loose ends, and he had to save Jesse, because Jesse was, like, the son he could have had. I didn't like Walter Jr. He was useless, to be honest to me. He was, he, was, he was just useless. He was just there just to be there, just to have his own little moments. He didn't really contribute anything to Walter, uh, Walter White's life. He didn't really contribute. I would have liked it if he would have found maybe the money or the drugs and then maybe could have done something but again there was really nothing for him to do and i think jesse jesse was like the son he could have had like if walter would have had two sons and one son was like falling off the rails or whatever jesse would have been it i think jesse would have been it and i think it made sense for jesse and walter white to have like this great dynamic chemistry of i guess student and teacher father and the son he could have had because jesse couldn't even kill walter at the end he couldn't do it he despite everything that walter put him through he could not do it because that was his friend mentor and slash slightly father figure slightly father figure because jesse taught him some things but walter was just so smart because he he knew the math he knew the like the chemistry he just knew how to put things together he was smart he even was so bold enough to go into tuco's place to blow up to nearly try to kill tuco like he he just was that guy he was literally that guy and i was like listen man this is why i'm telling y'all if any show that ever comes up in the future and if i like it or i, I say whatever if if you don't ever hear me say the words near perfection or perfection and I grade it as as a 10, you know why. <laughs> you know why. You know why if I say that, but overall, breaking bad. As as, as, as shit. Man, I should have been on YouTube years ago because I would I, I probably would have had like thousands of videos of this shit. But this is this is my conclusion. Of what I what I saw, and what I absolutely think and believe of this great, great show, completely, completely perfection. Um, I heard rumors that I think they're gonna do something with uh, what's her face? Um, I was gonna say Kate. What's her dumb? I forgot her name. She was um, she was uh, Saul's uh wife, girlfriend. I forgot her name, but. I heard rumors that they, there might be a, a show of her. I, I, I wouldn't be all right. I, I'll be all right with, like, watching her thing to see, like, if there's, like, any, like, tie-ups to loose ends. So I wouldn't be okay with it. But, um, again, <laughs> Breaking Bad, Perfection. If, if I haven't seen it, go check it out. <laughs> go check it out. Go check it out. And I'm telling y'all, y'all would love this show. It was it's perfection. It's, it's, it's go. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm out of here. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you all in the next one.